growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be. Seven. And welcome back to another fucking another episode of Lit Podcast. You know how we do it, man. We bring the hottest artists, the legendary, the icons, the up and coming, and everything in between. And today, you know what I'm talking about, man. Say, hold on, hold on. I got somebody special today. You know what I'm talking about, man. Say, you know what I'm talking about. And I ain't talking about juvenile, nigga. No, nigga. I'm talking about King Juvie and this motherfucking bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Shit show. Shit show. Yeah. Yeah, it's going down, man, for the ones that don't know, you know what I'm saying, and the ones that want to know, you finna get to know, you know what I'm saying, my boy today. Please tell everybody, man, your name once again, where you from? Hey, man, I'm Kane Drew, you feel what I'm saying, straight out of Dallas, Texas. Straight Dallas, Texas, like that, you know what I'm saying, what part of Dallas, Texas you from, man? Shit, sad at it, but on the other end, East Dallas, man. Hey, East Dallas, East Dallas, East Dallas. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> down little, man. What's going down, man? I said, man, I appreciate you coming, man. Come fuck with me, man. Like, Shit. No, man, just grinding. Yeah, grinding. Yeah, grinding, 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 man. So, man, man, let's just jump, jump up in there, man. How long you been doing music? Shit, now about like two years. Two years. So, only two years? Two years. So, what, what, what sparked you to start doing music? Really, childhood, uh, Shit that I've been through, you know, uh, baby mamas. Yeah, baby mamas. Feel me, uh, <laughs> streets. Yeah. You feel me, jail. Right. Outlet, you know, and then shit, just life itself. Right, right. You know, life itself. Right. What's, what, <coughs> what is it like growing up in East Dallas? <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Like it, it, yeah. like it wasn't hard for us because like I ain't gonna just make it seem like I came from a rough home, you feel what I'm saying? Right. But like, far as and just being in the streets, you know, like I used to always be at Diamond Jays, you feel me? Like okay. I could not stay away from Diamond Jays yeah. or Moonlight when Moonlight was up, Clear Struggles when it was right there, yeah, you know. So it's like it wasn't really just hard or nothing like that. I seen like my partners don't go through shit, right? You feel me? Like. I done, you know, let them spend that in my house, you know, and I done did a lot, like, far as in just over there, like, period, right, you feel what I'm saying, right, right. like, when it come down to anything, like, I was solid, kept right. it solid with everybody. Right. Now, who, who, was all, who was all coming up out, out the east at that time, man, was doing music, you know, was there any influences? Really, I ain't gonna even lie, like, I wasn't, you know, capitalizing into, like, the the music side and you know, like this, so right, I really right. didn't I, I really didn't know who was rapping at the time, but I knew Gunna Maze was rapping when he was Lil Squeak. Okay, yeah, Lil Squeak, yeah. So um, yeah, like I just knew that he was over there rapping, you know, and shit, that was about it. And like people that was on the corner freestyle, right, 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 <laughs> you right, know, right. trying to make a, a career out of something, right. trying to make something out of nothing. Right. So like, like what was the process? You know what I'm saying? Like. Going, going from coming to jail, you know, coming out dealing with baby mamas and really wanting to get into this music. Like, what what was that process like? Basically, like, it wasn't a lot, but it was a lot that I had to had to do, had to put in line, had to make sure I was straight because she, like, I had, like I said, my kids that I had to take care of when I came home. Like, so much stuff was going on, mm -hmm. you know, so, uh, Damn fly. <laughs> <laughs> nice nah, cuz, cuz. But like so much shit was going on, but like it wasn't nothing that was just too effective, like but like trying to get back on track. Right, 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 right. Feel what I'm saying? saying? Trying to figure it out. Trying to understand what I need to do, like, to stay away from certain things, you feel what I'm saying? Cause I've been all through there, right. like trapping. Right, right. You feel right, what I'm right. saying? Before I went to jail. Trapping while I was on papers. Right, right. I was on papers for aggravated rivalry. You know what I'm saying? How long you gonna pay? Shit, 11 years. You feel what I'm saying? That's, that come with being your own company. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Your own fire party. And, and you walked the whole 11 years on paper? Hell nah. Oh, yeah, because I'm about to say Hell that. Hell nah. I, <laughs> I went to state jail 20, I only, I only 2019. Make, I only make the first four months, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. them first two years on paper, like, 
See, they kept extending my shit. Right. They extended it from seven years. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So then when I went to state jail, 2019, uh, I sat in that hoe. Well, I sat in the county for about like three months. And then I uh, back dog state jail nine months. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then I ended up coming home. They gave me shock papers. Yeah, shock papers, man. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it, you know what nah, I'm saying? Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but shit, we paid that shit off, though. Right. We paid that shit off. So, your background is singing. Yeah. So, you yeah. were singing before you was rapping? I wasn't doing nothing. You weren't doing you know nothing? Saying? I was so just... How, so, how did you know you even had a voice? Like, what? When I, mean, I was a kid. Right, you right. You feel me? Like, when I was a kid, I, I used to do, like, tennis shows. Like, people that went to Lincoln. Right. People know who I am. Okay. You know okay. Shout out Lincoln, South Dallas. Yeah, I graduated from Lincoln, so. Okay. You know, when I went to Piracy, I was doing the same shit. Right. You know, and then, like, just, you know, with, with the family, family reunions. So, people used to always be like, come over here and sign. Ooh, right. Man, I used to get, like, my aunt and them, uncles and uh cousins and, you know, my T. Johns and shit, they used to all get together. You feel what I'm saying? And when I go up over there, you know, when we have a little reunion or whatever, like, they used to real life make me perform, and they used to throw money at me. Okay. You feel me? While I'm performing the Temptations for that. Okay, you performing the Temptations. Okay, because I'm going to ask you what you were performing, man. Yeah. It was oh, just my imagination. And, yeah. Uh, what was the other one? Uh... I got a sunshine this Yeah, year. yeah, blue yeah. my nigga, man, say it's yeah. just my imagination. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they used to sign that shit with me. That was my first time ever playing on the karaoke, though. Oh, okay. All right. So, like, what was your first What was your first musical piece that you wrote down that you remember? You know what I'm saying? That you was like, okay, I'm going to press the gas with it. Uh, I don't, like, I don't know. You don't know? I don't even know. Okay, what first song that started... Getting attention, like people started noticing that you was, you know, doing oh things. shit, uh, change gonna come, change gonna come, change gonna come, and trust. Okay, what's the change gonna come? Who's on? That's that's on you by yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everything I'm doing by myself. Right. Like, it ain't the fact I don't want to do features. Right. It's just the fact like my story is my story, and I feel like you know, you got your own story, and the thing about it, like some people not on that wave of pain and so right. man, You feel what I'm saying? So. I just be like, I ain't trying to, you know, fuck up nobody way. Right, right. What they got going on, you feel me? And, and that's what I wanted to ask you, your story, your, you know what I'm saying? Because I listen to your music, your music has a lot of pain, and I want to want to know what made you come, you know what I'm saying, from singing The Temptation to something like this. Yeah. Pain. And the crazy part about it, that, that song right there, right, right. like, I did this song before I got shot. Damn. I did this song before I got shot. Man, man. And this song right here was like based on me going to jail. Man, you was like, it was like, did you do you feel like you predicted? Now I do, yeah. Right. Yeah, and then I could tell you some stories. You feel me? Only me and my teacher on there. And the doctors. Right. That okay. I seen before anybody else seen. Type so, shit. so what happened? Like what 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 was going down? prior to you getting shot 15 times and surviving? Uh, I was hustling. I was hustling. Like, I was hustling. Like, I ain't never took from nobody. You feel me? Like, besides the little aggravated robbery charge or whatever, they were just on the stove. Right. You feel me? So, uh, the thing about it, like, I ain't never took from nobody. So, it was like, everything I was doing, I was getting on my own. Or my old lady, you right. feel me? The one I'm still with, type shit, so. I don't live, I don't live, yeah. So. Nah, shout out to y'all, man. Nah, for sure, sure. Like, we just got our LLC, you feel me? With the Juve and T, so. Okay. Everything came together, like, and, but like I said, uh, probably before me getting shot, like, I was just hustling and grinding, you know. Uh, I tried the music shit. Right. That's when I did that pain. And that was, that was, the, that was that one, right? That one, it switched on me. And it switched on me. And like, like, what was that feeling? Like, what was what was the the moments of leading up to getting shot? You know what I'm saying? Like, how did you feel? What was the reaction? Was everything in slow mo? Like, and like, it was an out of body experience. Right. Like, I seen me getting shot. You feel me? 
Right. Like, I'm you standing seen it over there. Then. Yeah. You, you, like, you, you seen everything visualized right before it even happened. That's crazy because I, I have a story like that, but keep going. But, like, uh, it's like you standing over there, and it's like you looking at yourself, and you actually seeing this. And the whole time, you really don't know, you know, what's going on. Right. You feel me? Because you're not really feeling that vibe like, damn, that shit finna happen. Right. You feel what I'm saying? You thinking like, okay, you know, I ain't, you ain't did shit. You know, you ain't got no beef out here. Nobody ain't beefing with you. You ain't important. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, the feeling, it ain't no feeling. Mm. It ain't no feeling when you can't feel. Right. You feel me? But just know the after effect, it'll turn you to a whole different breed. Right, right. A whole different breed. Like, you, you'll understand life more. Right. You, and you want to play about life more. <laughs> well, facts, facts. What, what it was like laying up in that hospital, man? Like, what, like, what was the doctor saying? What, you know, like, I know your mom and your girl and everybody were by your side. Like, was you, was you even conscious? Was like... Nah. Mm. I was dead. Uh, I was dead in the apartment. What they pronounced you dead? Yeah, yeah. I was dead in the apartments. Then they said they brought me back on the ambulance. Then they said I died again, coming off the ambulance. And then they said I was dead for like thirty minutes, forty-five minutes. And I died like I died three times and had two heart attacks. Yeah. Damn. And then after that, I was in a coma. So by the time I woke up, I ain't, I ain't lie, big bro, like. I was getting out the hospital. Mm. By the time I was waking up, I ain't, you know, I was getting out the hospital. You getting discharged. Getting discharged. When I started walking and shit, I was walking backwards. You know what I'm saying? I went talking, I ain't started talking until October. And that's when I did try and go come. Yeah. God. Got three bullets still in my arm, you know. My shit right. like that, but what, what's the healing process was like? Like, man, what was it? Cause I know you was going through so many emotions. Did you even know who even shot you? Did you nah. know? Damn. You know, everything. You know, I ain't meant for a lot of us to know. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like it wasn't nothing. It ain't nothing. You right. Feel me? Right, right. Cause at the end of the day, what kept me going was being around a, a crowd. Me on that stage, me performing, me being up in bigger positions than I, than I ever thought I'd ever be in. You right, feel what I'm saying? Right, like, I'm here. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I'm here with you. So it's like. And that's a blessing. You know that's a saying, blessing, man? bro. That's, that's, blessing. that's all that, that matter to me. Like, me being able to be in the presence and be able to be like, damn, that nigga up a kind of shit. Like, me hearing that, you know, that shit just keep me going. That shit just keep me going because a lot of people I ain't making. Do you remember what was going through your mind when it was unconscious? Do you remember anything? Yeah. What was you thinking? What was what, what was flashing through your mind? I I feel like I was at the house still. Mm. Like I seen my kids, I seen my old lady still going to work. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. I seen my weed on the table. <laughs> you know With the scale, yeah, <laughs> all yeah. type of bullshit. <laughs> that nigga yeah. say he was thugging con unconscious. You know what nah, I'm like right. I feel like I, I feel was rolling like, up weed. Right. I feel like I was on the phone making plays, all type of bullshit. So you still felt alive? Yeah. And I feel like I was on the wild, like with my arms stretched out type shit. I just feel like I was, and I was just seeing shit, like. It's a whole bunch of shit that I done seen, bro, dead. Man, man, if you can if you can turn back the hands of times, man, what would you go back and change? My crap. And being in a better position for me and my old lady to where we didn't have to move over there where them drinks at. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So that's why I go harder, harder and harder every day. So, so who who's on your team right now with you and, and, and pushing your music? Uh, like uh, far as in like who, like what? Like you have management, like how? You oh yeah, my my wife, my manager. You feel okay. what I'm saying? Uh, I got tattoo five, you know, up under uh artistry. Uh, KT the Dunn, my nigga, up in you know, prison right now, but okay. he on his way home. 
So, I got somebody in Mississippi, you know, Julio Montana. Okay. You know, uh, San Antonio. Uh, my boy Rib out there in California. Uh, whole bunch of people, bro. Right. Like, right. just. <laughs> Like, that's why I went on and got the LLC. You right. feel me? That's why we went on and got the LLC or whatever. So we could actually make it legit. Okay. You feel me? Okay. Actually making a business because we already got a production team. We already got distributors. Okay. You feel me? Like, I've been doing stuff. Right, right. You feel me? I was on K104, didn't even know. Yeah, you was telling me about that. You was yeah. There. And what song was that that was on K104? Change Gonna Come. Change Gonna Come. That mother ain't got no video. So, so basically, you had you passing that to them DJs. DJs make sure it got where it needs to be. I didn't do nothing. Right, right. I went to Authentic Empire. Uh huh. You feel me? And did that one video, Trust. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And then start going from there. Start actually taking things serious. Like, I ain't gonna lie. When I bought my first beat from Hood with another one, I just kept going. Okay, you never stopped. Never stopped. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. couldn't. You feel me? And then. Like now, I'm up in college, you feel me, for, uh... Man, shout out, shout out yeah. to you, man. Said turn around, coming from the streets, yeah, yeah. going to college, because I did the same thing. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just like, graduated. Real tight. Yeah, real tight. <laughs> real tight. Nah, yeah. we can do it. We can do it. They can't yeah. say, nah, they always trying to doubt us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they always trying to pull us down. Yeah. Act like, you know, we can't be nothing like... And don't think it's because a nigga got shot. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I was trying to change my life before I got shot. Oh, really? Started back trying to go to church. You right, feel me? And right. then, boom, it was like it's God right. and the devil was right. trying to fight. Right. You feel yeah. me? And it was like. Like one foot in, one foot out. Right. Because I came outside with mine and everything. Right. And I went back in the house, put it up. You feel me? And came back outside. Like, right. nothing was going to happen. And I ended up going to the car, boom. It ain't like nobody walked me down, though. Right. You feel me? And I'm thankful for that. Nah, for real. Nah, for real, for real, for real. So what college you in? Shit, full cell. Okay, you full cell. What you take? What you? What's the, okay, all right, all right. I got, I got another. Better full cell in the motherfucking house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said I ain't been in it. Man, you know, I just graduated from full cell. Oh shit, that's why I just graduated. I'm a love night. I'm a full cell alumni. It's going down. What you? What you? Uh, what you majoring in? Uh, music production. Music yeah. production. Okay, all right. Shout out to all my teachers. They gonna, they gonna teach you something. I already know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm in my fourth month right now. Yeah, when they feel like they ain't doing nothing, they doing something, you just yeah. got to peep the game, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and how they giving it to you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's going down, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you going to feel good. You going to say, is you going to go down there and walk out? Because that's what I Heck did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. already gave me that option. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Heck yeah. yeah man. So, so they gave you all your studio equipment Yeah, I'm waiting on that right now. Oh, okay. Oh. It's my fourth month, Yo, so. yo, Oh, yeah, you get your lunch box. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, you going to love that lunch box. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Lunchbox, man. So, shit, sure. man, I gotta tell you, man, that song rain. That's man, like, man, that's man. Like, hey, I'm finna drop another bitch. Yeah. And that motherfucker, like, yeah. Okay, so what? So, were you dropping albums or singles? Right now, I'm just really, okay. Really, I'm just going with the flow. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. I'm just doing whatever guy got me doing. Right. You feel me? Like, I'm just doing what God got a nigga doing, like real tight. Right. Like, I'm just going with the way of what's going on. Like, so I'm just dropping like singles right now. I already dropped a mixtape with a little EP or whatever uh, last year, November the 24th. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, okay. yeah, like now I'm just doing shit, you know. Like, doing something that, that's my therapy, basically. Yeah, okay. Do you, do you, do you. I say, okay, I say you use music as therapy, and that's yeah. a good thing, because yeah. that's what music for. Because I ain't talk to nobody. Right. Like, I still ain't talk to nobody. You the first person I done talk to. Damn. Uh, just a piece of the story, you feel okay. what I'm saying? Okay, okay, And, like, really, I ain't no story because... What, is more to the story? Nah, it ain't more. Oh, okay. Because, at the end of the day... Right. Nah, because it is more to the story, because, you know, your book, you still hear your book, and you still writing. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And, like, so, like, when you and you doing this music right now... And I know right now you say you putting a team together, you got a production team together, you got your LLC. So now you taking it forward to that business side. Right. So is you is you up on your your ass cap, your BMI? I your got publishing? BMI. Okay. You, you know, got, I'm already getting paid for it. Uh, okay. You got your publishing. You got Harry Fox and all that. I got everything okay. I need. BDS. Okay. Yeah, BDS. You, you know what I'm saying? Media, media, yeah, media, media based. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so it's like 
I'm doing everything the right way. Okay. Like even though I'm in a backfield, right? You feel me? Like people know who I am, right? By just hearing my song, but then they don't know who sang it, right? You feel what I'm saying? Until they actually hear it, and then boom, they sang my shit with me. You feel me? Like I went to the DJ court thing. Uh -huh. Shout out to uh all the DJs that was there. You feel me? Like. I ain't gonna lie, like four of them came up to me and they were just like, they been knowing who I am. Mm. Before I even said anything, right. they said, you came, I was just like, yeah, yeah. we been knowing who you were. Okay, yeah, yeah, we been spinning you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So now it's all about you just tapping back into the network. Tapping, yeah, yeah. yeah. networking yeah. and going places where I need to be at. Like, like I said, when you, when me and you tapped in, like, that shit was like a blessing, so I'm here. Right, right, man. And now, like I say, once again, I appreciate that, man, because, you know, like, like I say, all of us got a story to tell, and, man, like, and out here in Dallas, man, we we got the talent. We got it all, you know what I'm saying? But now it's time to all start bringing it back together, because, like we say, we can't be nothing apart, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, and and that's one thing I want for the city is just, like, I know everybody ain't going to be able to mess with each other, but, like, when we moving in this music, you know what I'm saying? We show we show that togetherness, you know what I'm saying? Right. We can't be we can't be broke, you know what I'm saying? Right. And uh like but besides that, like like who you been having you know, like do you listen to other people? Like do you listen to people now? Do you you, you know you never had nobody you ever wanted to work with? Uh really the only person I wanted to work with did, but you know. Mo three, yeah. yeah. And I was I was on the phone when when you had talked to me on the phone. You was telling me about how uh, you should have listened to Mo three. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and what you meant by? I should have listened to bro. Like back then, like I ain't, I ain't never listened to his music. Right. You feel me? Until he died, I ain't, like I ain't gonna be one of the ones that be like, yeah, I've been rocking Mo three music. Like, right. I ain't start listening to you know listening to him until he died, and then like I heard you know everybody at your friend, everybody at your partner. And I was just like, bro, you know what? That shit true in the motherfucker. Like, I was in the hospital, bitch, listen to it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, next thing you know, my first show I ever did, you feel what I'm saying? I had them play that song. Mm. Came on stage with a slang on, all yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah. No cap. Yeah. At the motherfucking strip club. Yeah. <laughs> at the I, Pentagon. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, Pentagon the club now. Yeah. <laughs> but it, before it was called the Pentagon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It don't flip too many. Yeah, you know that's my famous right mm -hmm. there. There you go. You go to that location. It was KLDs. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's when I had went up in there, mm -hmm. and then you know. So where you been performing? Have you opened up for some people before it, or anything like that? Have you traveled in or anything with your music? Yeah, uh, I went to the uh, Atlanta tour. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The uh, tour to Dallas. Mm -hmm. I did theater, whatever. Uh, the Kwanzaa Fest. Oh yeah, the Kwanzaa Fest. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the Kwanzaa Fest. Feel me yeah. so. Uh, I done did a whole bunch of shit for people. Right, you feel right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Like right. even though it was free. Right. That right, shit right. got me where I'm at. Right. Nah, nah. That's what, you know. Sometimes it, it works out because it's all about connections. Too. Nah, for real. Cause it's about money and connections. <laughs> like I was telling him, I was just like, man, I started off. On Instagram with 243 followers right. just last year. Right. You feel me? Like, and now I feel like I'm doing all right because I got like 13 something. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. so, nothing, nothing bought. You yeah. see, growth and it's you organic growth yeah. is yeah. real. Like, you know, I, ain't <laughs> followers. Like, I, I know these my fans. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, for real. Like, know? if I post. <laughs> They only oh, you know, yeah. oh, then that's love. You know, shout out to all the people no, man, shout out that, to that follow them. everybody, sure. that like everybody, and share everybody shit, and be out there. And no matter comments. who you is, yeah, no matter who you is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, cause it's free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's free in the motherfucker, goddamn me. So you know, hey, you know, for real, shout yeah, out for real. And so, um, like, what's some of your goals, man? What what's some of the goals, man? You 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 trying to achieve right now? Really, uh, taking me and. Just with the, you know, mm -hmm. movement, like, taking our lead to the next level, really. Right, right. Like, not just trying to levitate myself. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm trying to levitate everybody that's around me. Right. I'm trying to make sure that they straight when they go home, they ain't got to worry about, oh, you know, he pocket this, he right. pocket that. Like, right. nah, like, we all going to eat even. Right, right, Feel right. me? Like, they just the goal. Nah, they're they just the rules. Nah, like, nah. loyalty. And I'm all about loyalty. Like, Love, you know, you can love anybody. Right, right, you know what right, I'm saying? right, right. You can tell anybody that you love them. But 
what is your loyalty? You know your loyalty. With, right. What you gonna do? When what you gonna do when it's time? When it's time when all this fail, who gonna yeah. be in that corner? You yeah. know what I'm saying? And the only person that was in my corner is my T Jones and my old lady. Right. My wife. So man, shout out to the T lady, yeah. the old lady, man. It's going down. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Cause I wanna, shit. I wanna keep doing this music shit. Like, I, I wouldn't even went to music, but like when I woke up out my coma, I remember my T John asking me like, and her. And my old lady, they asked me what I wanted to do. Right. You feel me? Like, because I almost got my arm taken away. You feel mm. me? So, like, what you want to do? Like, what you going to seriously do? Shit, I want to do music. You feel right, me? Right, like, yeah. I heard myself on the radio already. You feel me? Just being in that coma. Heard me already. I already knew what voice I was coming with. I already knew what sound I was coming with. You feel me? So... Boom, I ended up being on the radio. They didn't even know it. And they didn't even know it. You know what <laughs> they didn't even know and it. you not already perfected your sound. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know your sound. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm rocking with both. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm rocking with both. I've been doing everybody like this lately, man. Everybody like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put them on spot, man. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear some of this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah we having this freestyle. It's going down this. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey. Yeah. This nice little tone right here. Mm. I gotta keep my mind focused. Know that I'm on the move. Never worrying about what other niggas doing. I'ma keep on moving. Yeah, you know we grooving. Hold on, let me get it back, man. I need it right now. I know them niggas wanna hate on me. They keep on coming in my circle like a trilogy. I ain't trying to play with nobody, now nah, I'm a G. Hold on, y'all keep it respectful, man. I'm keeping it P. Hold on, I remember days I was pushing P. I re remember days I was in the TR AP. Fuck around with them BDs and GDs. Hey, shout out to I love nigga. Nah. <laughs> hey, I ain't worrying about nobody. Gotta go ahead and get my money. And I love rubbing on my bitch body. Oh, my bad, I don't even cuss up in my songs. But you know that I must keep on telling them to leave me alone. I'ma keep my gun closer than close. And I told my cousin that I got it on the, yeah, keep that on the, hey, low, hey, keep that shit up on the low. And anything that you know, yeah, ain't it that you know, yeah, and then. I really write. I don't freestyle, but I might tonight. Yeah, tonight I might ignite it. In that pussy pearl, baby, and let me go and bite it. Fuck it. Like a decade, I'ma go and hit it. Chicken McNugget, let me go ahead and get a biscuit. <laughs> Yo, you know what I'm saying? It's going down. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. You know what I'm saying? On you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? My nigga don't even freestyle, but when he hit yeah, one for man. me tonight, you know what I'm saying? So fuck what y'all talking about, goddamn. Y'all made a nigga sweat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's going down. <laughs> nigga lit podcast shit in this bitch, man. Say, man. Hey man, hey man, shit, if y'all know, man, East Dallas coming up in this bitch pulling up and showing up, man, like that, man. So, like, man, like, through your journey, man, like, like, what have you, you learned, you know what I'm saying, and what you are most proud of that you accomplished? Being around my family, man. Right. Yeah. That's the only thing. Right. Being right. around my family, man, right. like, bringing them into everything I got going on. Right. You feel me? Like, a partner gonna fail to be there. Right. But they could also change, like, in the blink of an eye. Right. But your family, you feel me? Like, yeah, they say blood thicker than water. You feel what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it's like, I feel like family just need to be, you know, like, you know who the fuck with in your family and who mm -hmm. not to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me, so oh, yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah. Right. you yeah, know, because you can't like mess with everybody. Yeah. You can't mess with everybody, <laughs> but like the, the yeah. ones that you, you know. Hey, right, you already know, you know what I'm saying? Like your part. Uh -huh. So, like, man, you know, I got to have you back, man, you know what I'm saying? But before I let you go, you know what I'm talking about, I got this question that I ask everybody, 
You know what I'm saying? Like before I do, man, you happy now? You, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't even asked, you know what I'm saying? How you feeling, man? You good? Yeah, yeah. Like spiritually wise, yeah. Yeah. Like on the spiritual side, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I still had them days like I could go back. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And I be having to catch myself. I feel mm -hmm. that. I feel that 100. percent You know what I'm saying? Like if you was in my shoes, what question would you ask your, man, yourself that I didn't ask you? What's next? And what would your answer be? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it simple. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Y'all gonna see me again, like, right. and be right. like, man, that, yeah. Right. So, right. Right. He actually it. made all that possible. I wanna say, you know, what I'm, saying? I'm gonna give you the flow. The flow is yours. But uh, before I give you, let you get your shout outs, I wanna shout out Nico. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Two times, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You always be blessing me, you know what I'm saying, with the great ones. You know what I'm saying? And this this man right here, great. I want y'all to make sure y'all go tune in to Queen Judy. You know what I'm saying? On all platforms. The boys, all yeah, platforms. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all go follow them, run them damn numbers up. And, man, the floor is yours. Nah, for sure. I want to shout out to my family. I want to shout out to, you know, the people that's behind me. I want to shout out to uh, SDYP, you know, the label. Uh... Hey, I just want to shout out to the world, you feel me, because sometimes, you know, you never know what the next person going through, and like, if you go tune into my, you know, music and stuff, like, I'm actually talking about their life experience, you feel me, like, oh, talking about real life experiences, I ain't just rapping about trapping and kicking in those, like, I don't even freestyle, you feel me, like, that ain't me, you know, like, because when I used to freestyle, it was like, Nigga, you capping. Right, right, You right. feel me? Like, nigga, You gotta like, make it sound good when you, you got, freestyle. You yeah, you like, gotta make it sound yeah. too good. Like, Gucci nah. Burberry seats, nigga, nah, jewels on me. Nigga, watch the diamond fleet, nigga, people, looking people like people me. Hey. Time, you, be, you be in a different space when you freestyle. You know, I'm freestyle and I write. It's right. like a different, you know. But it's like a different you outcome. Put on, yeah, it's, with it's different. Writing. Yeah. Right. Like, you can actually go into your brain. Right. And, like, me, I don't talk to nobody. Right. Bro, I could really, like, show you my phone. You'll be like, Damn this nigga. <laughs> damn this nigga. Damn this nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah nigga. Like I'm really like just writing. Nigga got the pain in the wing. I just be writing, bro, and then like I be recording myself. You know, I got like a whole bunch of sounds recorded. Right. But then I take them to an actual studio. You feel me? And just redo them how. That's right. how I be coming up with all my shit. Man, who you? Man, who your top three rappers or artists of all time? In your in your in your book. I'm gonna say three. You feel me? Uh, uh, no cap. No cap. Okay, shit. That first I heard no cap on the podcast. Okay, shout out uh, no cap. And Rallo. And Rallo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which Rallo? Rodriguez. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> ben, ben, yeah. You know you gotta. You know you gotta clarify. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I ain't gonna like. <laughs> the reason why I, I relate to no cap because like I went through it. You feel me? Myself. Mm -hmm. But I actually had. Cousins and partners and shit that died along the way. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like I done been in the car and seen my nigga die type shit. Right. You feel me? Like actually turned to a noodle, like real tight. And I feel like they're supposed to be my time. Like I done done so much shit back then. You feel me? Before I got in the position that I'm in now, and before I got with my family and all this little shit, like I was doing a lot. You right. feel me? Like. Motherfuckers coming to the, you know, to the spot and shit, like, nigga, you up in this bitch. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. talking to them, like, they crazy, like, you know, <laughs> like, nigga, it's yeah. either you buy some or, you know, yeah, like. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, and then, then you point your gun at <laughs> yeah, the door, all yeah. type of bullshit, so. Yeah, looking through that peephole. Nah, for shit, like, sure. Shit. <laughs> nah, for shit, sure, like, <laughs> I got a fun ass story. Go ahead. We in the spot with them. This tattoo right here, that mm -hmm. say family. Right. You feel me? I got that hoe by a J. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. nigga that smoke. You feel me? Right, right, yeah. So, boom. My nigga was doing my tattoo. Next thing I know, he wanted to go take a break. Bro wanted to go take a break. He took a break. He went to the back. As you know, we smelling cardboard now. So, I'm just like, bro, it smell like that dope in this hoe. You feel me? Then, right. boom. Yeah, nigga in there smoking. Nigga in that hoe smoking. <laughs> You feel me? I got this house with 2016, 2015, some shit. Nigga up in that house smoking. 
Next thing I know, he come back up out there, ho. He was like, oh, nah, 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 nah. I just sprayed that air fresh and that I got up in that wood. <laughs> <laughs> so, boom. No cap, like... Bro, finish my tattoo and everything. Yeah, you let him. Hold on, hold on. Bro, finish my tattoo and if you see this wire right here, it's a little shout. You feel me? It's a little pushed up because my nigga fell out doing my shit. He was sitting there sweating already. You feel me? He was just talking to me, just rocking. And I'm just like, bro, you good? Like, I'm like, no, you good? He said, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, nephew. And then, boom, after that, my nigga. Did like that up on that wire and just fell out there, boom. I'm like, dang, this nigga dead, bro. Like, we were trying to wake him up. <laughs> we were trying to wake him up. Bro did not wake up. My nigga, my nigga had put him up in the damn, uh, what's that? One of them big ass rugs. It was a big ass rug in the floor. He rolled him up. My nigga rolled that nigga up. That nigga rolled that nigga up in the rug. That nigga say, that nigga say, hey. Come help me roll this nigga down the stairs. I said, bitch, I ain't finna go to jail with you, bitch. <laughs> like, nigga, we two black niggas, and it's a whole white motherfucker right here with tattoos and shit. And nigga on dope. And nigga on dope. <laughs> like, nah. <laughs> so, boom, this nigga just threw the nigga down the stairs. So Bro. it's like on Martin when Martin, that plumber came over on Martin, nigga, that nigga passed out of the toilet. <laughs> Bro, that nigga threw that nigga down the stairs, bro. That shit. Oh. My nigga fell down the stairs. I was like, damn, you falling with the body now, bitch. Like, nigga, you going to jail. <laughs> nigga, like, fam. You, you, your ass rolling with the body. Oh, oh shit. Like, real time, he was trying to pull that bitch down. That nigga fell right with the body. Damn, I did it. I know and that bro nigga. finally woke up. Y'all about to say, damn, please tell me he woke up. That nigga say, what y'all doing? <laughs> y'all trying to kidnap me like... Nah, <laughs> nigga, you fainted. Come on, man. Come on, man. We finna get rid of you, nigga. Nah, <laughs> 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 nigga, 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 Stuff. I don't want that white stuff. Oh, that's good, I want that other. 
I don't want the microwave. I don't want the other shit. I don't want them flakes, nigga. Nah, shit. for real. Shit be dust all over nah, my head. Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? But say, now they want to eat $3. I want to say shout out to motherfucking Soul Lounge. You know what I'm saying? Make sure this the pen of the month, man. We got the mochi in the house. You know what I'm saying? The Medusa pens. You know what I'm saying? You go get your uh, CBD, THC. You know what I'm saying? I got my uh, train wreck right here going hard. Nah, mm. for sure, sir. Shout out to them. Oh, yeah. You can just pull it out and just blow just like that. Y'all make sure y'all go pick this up, man. I want to say, uh, King Juvie, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you for coming through, man. What you going on, man? Man, some, uh, blueberry diesel oh, from he, California. Yeah, man. Oh, he got that blueberry mm. diesel. You know what I'm saying? And I got that skeezel. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then <laughs> some white gushers over there. That's that shit. Oh, okay. Shit, that nigga, yeah. man. That nigga got some, that nigga got some. <laughs> 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 yum, 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 Nah, but see, man, appreciate everybody tuning in, man. Like I say, man, everybody, like, hey, I just gotta say, in the, in the, in the words of my boy, Mo Inc., it costs nothing to be real, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it costs nothing to be real, man. So, let that sink in. You know what I'm talking about? Nah, y'all gonna, gonna understand, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, stay lit to life. And we about this. Biatch! <laughs> I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be shit.